They say a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Start to fun. Mine, a 2,200 kilometers cycling adventure across Japan. Wondering what it's like? Trust me, it was nothing like I expected. We kick off in Amsterdam flying to Osaka and from there heading south towards Hiroshima for a ride I will never forget. We had put in rain in Osaka the first day, so we decided to take the Shinkansen train. You can take the bike on the train and arrive to Hiroshima. The weather was good there, it was sunny, so we were quite happy about it. So we started our journey. It was mostly main roads at the beginning, but at least we had some nice views along the way. Today we explore one of the most beautiful cycling roads in Japan, the Shimanami Kaido cycling route going over bridges and islands. The road starts in Onomichi and finishes in the island of Shikoku. So we're gonna do the Shimanami Kaido cycling route and we start here, there is a ferry here and then the, you take the ferry and there are some bridges connecting the islands. This is a popular area amongst local cyclists. We bump into some bikepackers along the way, it was super fun. And when we arrive to the islands, you can easily follow the cycle lanes and bridges that connects the different islands. There's a dedicated cycling infrastructure and plenty of signs to make sure you don't get lost. And of course, nice cafes to enjoy the views. How's the van? Time for a coffee break and a Japanese. Opened in 1999, this is the first bicycle road in Japan that lets you across a sea strait, which attracts cyclists from all over the world and allows you to enjoy the beautiful scenery of islands dotting the Sito inland sea. Trying out all supermarkets in Japan? <laughs> Ooh. Today, we explore Shikoku. It's the smallest of Japan's major islands and is known for its incredible nature, multiple temples and mountainous terrain perfect for cyclists. Today's plan is to climb up to the UFO line, a 27 kilometers road that winds through the Ishishushi mountain range, reaching 1,897 meters. Time for breakfast. 7-Eleven. On the way up the UFO, we follow a rindo or forest road, which are basically very old roads that are not used for traffic anymore. Unfortunately, it was closed until May because of snow, so we have to descend back down, but the views were spectacular and the descent was great. cycle to the north of Shikoku Island to take a ferry to Wakayama. From Wakayama we plan to follow the Keinawa cycling route which is 180 kilometers and it goes all the way to Kyoto. You can find different signs along the way so it's really easy to follow and there's plenty of cycle paths but also so parts which are roads. Day 5 was a day of temples. We continue our way towards Kyoto on the Keinawa cycling road, but we decided to deviate to visit Mount Koya and Nara, a must-see places if you visit Japan. Koya is a place of pilgrimage and you can visit many of the Buddhist temples there and of course enjoy a nice matcha. I love matcha.
From Koya, we followed down a tiny road running through a gorge. It was bumpy, but the views were worth it. We continued towards Nara to visit the Todaiji Temple, which was high up on my list. There you can find the bowing deers. In Japan, don't go on main roads. Instead, follow cycling roads. This is the Keinawa cycling road going to Kyoto. Our day starts in Kyoto. From there, we cycle north towards Lake Biwa, the largest one in Japan. But before, a quick stop at Fushimi in Ari Shrine. Yeah, yeah, just picture. Uh -huh. Kyoto! Here you can find the iconic 10,000 Tori gateways. And I also heard there's great mochis around the corner, so I had to try them out. Mochi. We wanted to follow the Biwachi cycling course that goes around the lake, but we got lost and ended up in the highway because we didn't choose the right direction. The course is actually easy to navigate with blue lines on the road and signs like this along the way indicating the path. But you should travel in a counterclockwise direction around the lake following the traffic. Team of Japan, gorgeous temples and tracks. We head east from the Lake Bigwa towards Ena. However, on this side, the roads were really busy and the traffic was heavy. Seven Eleven in Japan are great. You can not only find the best mochis, but gloves, neck warmer. Buggy jumpy? Not for me. I want a picture because it's not. Hi, can you take those uh, pictures? Oh, arigato! <laughs> Good morning, day 8. We are in the mountains and it's really cold, at least it's sunny. Now trying to find a place for breakfast and a bike shop because we don't have tubes anymore. Priorities. Heat patch. <laughs> Sunscreen. <laughs> Change of plans instead of going north into the mountains towards Matsumoto, we had to head back down south towards Hamamatsu because of snowstorms. So we are in the mountain. I had to choose the tiniest road I could see on the map. And there's still cars. <laughs> it's, a, but it's a nice one. So today is the day with more climbing. 2,000 meters of climbing. Let's see. I guess the old habitants of the village having a fun time. <laughs> Road normally the smaller the number the better, but uh, this is like 32 and it's a small road. So just look on Google. If you see a tiny line, take that one. If you see anything that looks like a road, don't take it because it will be like a highway style. In Japan, if there's a mountain, there is a tunnel. But if you want to find quieter roads, try to route through the ones going around the mountain because normally there's less traffic. It can be more elevation, but it's actually quite fun.
Yeah. In Japan, so far, hotels are easy going with letting you your bikes into the room, so that's pretty cool. No problem so far, even in the city. Now sushi. Hey, nine, done and strong with tailwind. <laughs> Today we follow the Pacific Coastal Road from Hamamatsu to Fuji. It's the longest cycling route in Japan, stretching for 1,487 kilometers from Koshi in Shiba to Wakayama City. We made it to the cycle lane after following a main road thinking it was the route with kind of check on Google. <laughs> this is much nicer than the main road. It was a challenge to find parts of the cycle lane because it's still under construction, so make sure to follow the signs in case there's any deviations. By the sea! <laughs> Most of the time we cycle by the seaside. It can be quite windy, so make sure to check the wind direction. Luckily this time we had tailwind and sun, and it's also more busy than in the mountains, so there's more traffic and there could be pedestrian walking in the cycle lanes, so you have to be a bit more careful. Sakura Pond, a little deviation, it's really nice. <laughs> of the day, of course, every day a flat tire. Trying out the local strawberries. Mm. Amazing. Cycle, eat, repeat. <laughs> On Fuji, wow. Made it to Fuji, Whoa. we found a hotel. The crazy wind outside is like blowing you out of the way. <laughs> So we've got a mystery flat here. Day 10 by packing in Japan. Wow, we are in Fuji and the wind is crazy. Between the climbing and the wind, it's going to be a tough day. <laughs> if you want to have some of the best views of Mount Fuji, make sure to visit this place. From Fuji, we head north towards Lake Kawaguchi. Monday morning blues, I open my eyes and I'm greeted by a Back to the mountains With you by my side Everything is beautiful Tuesday afternoon I'm calling you home Sakura Just to hear your voice on the phone Looks like we're getting to the climb of the day Nine kilometers climb to Mototsu I think Doesn't seem that there is a tunnel Time to fun Working hard for the money today Mount Fuji at the first lake of the day. Definitely one of the most beautiful places I've seen. You have a series of lakes around Mount Fuji. Now we're going towards Kawaguchi. We already had two. It's much nicer on the bike than just sitting on a bus. Minus three degrees in the mountains freezing. Day 11, wow, bikepacking in Japan towards the mountains again. <laughs> uh oh. What's the plan? Uh, trying to go to Nico, but we will make it like halfway. Let's see. Okay, let's go. Let's go. You know they say we're just animals. Oh 
only good vibes. Yes. <laughs> good vibes, everybody. Good vibes only. If there's a climb, there is a tunnel. Or at least there will be. No tunnel, you can sure, sure bet they're working on it. Japanese efficiency. It's a big dump. <laughs> no problems with water here. Kosuge. This is Kosuge, highest point of the day. Cold, cold. Cold, cold. in the famous market here in Tokyo but it's so busy everywhere wow omelette sushi onigiri and you get it really quick after the rest day today to Nikko the mountain energized by all the sushi the day before we head towards Nikko National Park to explore the mountains of course from the gourmet temple 7-eleven new mochi with sesame Mm, this one is really good. What can I say? Best value for money. Japanese Alps, Nikko. It's a popular place to go on the weekends from Tokyo. But we're going by bike. Better. <laughs> mm. My excitement when I walk into Family Mart. And they even have a sitting area. We are in the mountains, trying to find in the famous forest road that is supposed to be really nice, let's see. So we made it to Nico. Again, a cycling lane, pro tip in Japan, if you see a canal or a river, try to route through it, normally it has a cycle lane, which is pretty nice, better than going through the whole city. Day 14, bikepacking in Japan. Today is my birthday. Guess how old I am? <laughs> Uh, leave a comment below. Huh? <laughs> and now we're continuing on the cycling lane by the river uh, towards the coast. Today is raining, so a bit chilly, but uh, it's fine. At least we are not up in the mountains. So it's gonna be like this all day, like by the river. I hope we cycle lane most of the way. Okay, vamos, pequeña. Vamos. Four kilometers to go to the Pacific Coastal Road, and we got a flat tire, of course. Couldn't be a small sailing uh. after the rain, now flat tire. <laughs> Day 15, cloudy but so far dry. Getting out of Shoshi, and following the Pacific Coastal Road again. <laughs> From the beginning this time. Yeah. Rain pants on. Absolutely horrendous day. Pacific Coastal Road. Eastern point. Eastern? Yeah, southeastern, I think. Here we go. Bye. 
sunshine. <laughs> Finally, after two days of rain, <laughs> now by the rice fields, going to the Pacific Coastal Road again from the east side. Sounds like a plan. Vamos. Today is sunny, finally. Oh, what was yesterday? After pouring rain and the wind was... Ready for all? Not... Coffee and Yaku. Cheers. The Pacific Coastal Road, sometimes cycle lane, sometimes main road. <laughs> Because the coastal road was too easy, I decided to add some climbing. <laughs> Type 2 pan, but quieter. What kind of animals do they have in Japan? Devil pig? The seaside in Japan was really nice, but I really preferred the mountains. Sometimes you find unexpected hidden gems like this road, and there's amazing temples and views along the way but make sure to bring enough gears on your bike because there's some steep climbs in japan you have a selection of drinks everywhere one two three four five <laughs> because one drink is not enough. <laughs> they are our favorite hotel. Very convenient because you can roll in your bike, free food and free coffee. Last day cycling in Japan. Now to Tokyo. Getting into Tokyo, busy busy. For joining if you want to support the channel make sure to check out the links in the description for exclusive discounts until the next adventure